If you have constructed one of our inclinometers, here are some interesting uses for this device. Instructions for constructing an inclinometer can be found here, or view our inclinometer video. If you are familiar with some of the constellations visible in the night sky, you can use your inclinometer to determine your latitude. To do this in the Northern Hemisphere, start by locating Polaris, the North Star. Ursa Major, the Big Dipper, helps locate this important star. Extend a line from these two stars. They point at Polaris. Sight Polaris with your inclinometer. The angle indicated on the scale is your latitude. My latitude here is 46 degrees north. Polaris is located within one degree of the North Celestial Pole. If you live in the Southern Hemisphere, the very faint star Polaris Australis is the southern equivalent of Polaris. This device will determine the elevation of any celestial object, including our Sun. Astronomers use the term altitude to describe the angle of elevation of a celestial object. To determine the altitude of the Sun, align your inclinometer so the Sun shines through the sighting straw. I'm using a large white card to project onto. When you have everything aligned properly, the altitude of the Sun will be displayed. The morning Sun here has a current elevation of 20 degrees. Documenting information like this would be useful if you were installing a photovoltaic array or designing a home to take advantage of energy from the Sun. Your inclinometer can also be used to find objects in space. Recently, I have been observing some iridium flares. These are brief, intense flashes of light reflecting back from iridium satellites. These events are brief, and you need to know where and when to look. I use the site Heavens Above for iridium flare predictions. The prediction page looks like this. It provides a date and time, and an altitude and azimuth for the flare. The flare we have underlined will be visible from Ottawa, Canada on December 11, 2011 at precisely 1649. To see this, you would stand facing southwest, looking 16 degrees above the horizon. You can use your inclinometer to locate 16 degrees above the horizon. A precise location is useful if you're setting up a camera to capture the event. I captured this image of an iridium flare close to the winter constellation Orion. Iridium flares only last for a few seconds. Make sure you have precise time. Those are three activities for your inclinometer. Our triangulation video demonstrates some other uses for this device. For more science and technology related activities, visit our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the projects link.